Mike 1 on Mike 2. That's you, Kate. Right, here we go. Mike 3, Joel Creasy. Yeah. Right, come down and spend some time with the guys. This is Kate, Tim and Joel. Oh, oh, hey. Take to the place I love. Some radio, man. Yes, yes. Okay, strap him. Oh, we're doing it. We are so doing it. Let's get in there. Let's make some radio. Ah, yes. That's what we're doing. We're making radio. And I don't even know where to start today. It's one of those days where you go, thank God we have a radio show because there's so much we need to do. I know. And I'm in a great mood today. What is it, Wednesday? I'm feeling unbuzzed. Well, you're buzzed. You're pre-show. You're only two hours away from hitting the stage in Melbourne. I know. If you're in Melbourne, you can come to my show. It's at 6.15pm at the Town Hall and you could still be in time, home in time for The Voice or Master <laughs> Chef or Lego Master. Isn't that brilliant? brilliant. It's brilliant. I'm going to have to really, I'm going to have to scoot at the end of our show. You know, this week I would say race home for Lego Masters because they are providing us with some cash for the Wednesday Wheel today. They're sponsoring oh, course, the Wednesday Wheel. Watch Lego Masters. Yeah, it's Australia's most loved competition. It's back, new Lego Masters tonight, 7.30 on Channel 9 and 9 now. So maybe if you just missed the start, head to 9 now to catch the start. Oh, Amy yeah. Shin. Brickman. Of course. And I'll keep my show snappy because there's a show on after me. So I can't I can't yap all yes, day. Yes, yes. No, you gotta share the stage. Absolutely. I can't get sticky feet. No. That's what we call it in the biz. Yeah. Mm, yeah the good thing about feet. Lego Lego Masters too, Lego's so expensive, but Lego Masters is free. Oh. Is Lego expensive? Oh my god, are you serious? Yeah. It's, it's, up, well, it's, it, it's up there. Really? It's up there. It, it's yeah. 500 bucks cash from Lego Masters, though, for the Wednesday wheel soon. We'll spin that up in a sec. The other thing I'm excited about doing... The big man's announced he's here in March. Again, no Adelaide. Sorry, Adelaide. Oh, I didn't see that. Poor old Adelaide. I know, but you got to start buying tickets and change your reputation. It's almost like you've got a bad Uber rating. I know, And you need to change your Uber rating. If that, in ca- if that, in fact, is the real reason that these shows don't go to Adelaide. It's so unfair because Adelaide has so many great festivals and stuff. They do all this great work in the arts throughout the year and then bloody Harry and all the other artists don't pop in and say hi. Listen to him. So Perth, Feb 20. I said March. It's not all March. It's only one March. Oh, okay. uh, then Feb 24 in Melbourne. Feb 28, Gold Coast. March 3, Sydney. And it'll be here before you know it. Oh, well. <laughs> he's, 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 he's Bieber November. I'm yes. so confused. Yes, he is. This year. Yes. Mm-hmm. So Bieber's this year. I can get that done. Yeah. yeah. And I think Harry's Harry was originally November, wasn't he, or something? And then last there was a... year. November last year. No yeah. way. And let's yeah. confuse people even more oh, with I more know. days. Oh, I know. Tickets go to Wednesday, April 27, livenation.com.au. Oh, they're good people at Live Nation. He's going to have to start sewing sequins on his outfit now. I uh, know. You have to get on the genome. He was about so nervous yeah. about oh. coming down under. So nervous, like S-E-W nervous. <laughs> you know why it's going to be an extra special night, though? Get there early because wet leg are supporting. These guys oh, are yes. about to blow up if they haven't already. Oh, yes, the you love these guys. They're playing Splendor in the Grass, Wet Leg. And their new album is already out. Their debut album, It's a Cracker. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so they're supporting Harry. It's going to be massive. We have Harry Styles tickets very, very soon with Hazard a Guess. Don't call now. Plenty more to come. Plus, Thirsty Camel have two grand for us. Oh, my God. Oh God, now I know what you mean about a lot to do. The Camel Call is back. Fastest fingers back. It's 2000 bucks today. Kate, Tim and Joel. Okay, we can relax into a Wednesday show now. We'll spin up the Wednesday wheel soon. Harry tickets very soon as well. And Thirsty Camel's Camel Call not far away. A few. <laughs> Let's oofed. have some fun now, shall okay. we? All right. Oh, yeah, oofed. I was just telling you, re oofed. Carl Stefanovic was talking about the nail salon fight on the Today Show oh. this morning. Mm. And he came off that, that clip of the two girls punching on in Perth because one customer said to another customer, You've got to wear a mask in here. Mm. And the other one didn't like that very much. So they punched her in the face. Oh, that and then makes sense. Carl came off. We should get a grab of it, actually. I've got it on my Twitter. Um, he went oofed. Oh, look at the boy. I mean, he's my understudy on this show, so, you know, he knows what he's oh, doing. Oh, he is, actually. <laughs> no, is it's, like, it's the most rock and roll thing ever. And <laughs> yeah. Carl fills in for me. I love it. <laughs> he loves and he it. does. He loves coming in oh. here. I lo- he's on I his love own him. swipe card. Does he? Yeah. Oh, my God. That's by chance, though, isn't it? Because he comes into a different level. Oh, the big, does he get up here, though? Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Ooh. Swipe card to my office anytime. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, look at you go. Oh God, oh, no. Such a flirt. Let's talk um, cemeteries. And also driving licenses and driver's licenses. 30, 24, 10. Um, why did you fail your driving test? Slash, what went down in the cemetery? Yeah, I love this story. I mean, I, fa- I failed my first driving test because I drove into the wall of the instruction centre. That's right. I was in the car for like 10 seconds and the guy goes, get out. And I thought, oh, if I pass already. Um, <laughs> and then the fourth time, <laughs> it took me a few times to pass my driving really? test. Really? On, on an automatic? Yeah, it's very tricky. Oh. Um, no, I started on manual, moved to automatic. I started um, in manual too. I yeah, did my one in manual and then went, not, that's not for me. Yeah, I've never driven a manual again. But Although the- I want to get into that now. Why? Manual. I want to. I want to get my manual license now because it opens up the r- world of cars to you. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm not into li- the world of cars. You live in the city. Manuals yeah. are a bit tricky in the city. Yeah, they are. But mm. I, I failed my first driving test because I, I, oh, I, I, I was told I passed. The guy's like, "You've passed with flying colours. You're brilliant. Let's just put it into the um into the into the joint." And the because car park. I, well, of the kind of, <laughs> yeah, I, I okay. was going to say the brand of the place, but we're a national show, oh, you know, yeah, like oh, driving yeah, yeah, the area. Yeah, yeah. Right, of course. And I was so chuffed that I just pulled into it, but I didn't indicate out of the car spot, and that's an automatic fail. Oh, how disappointing! Mm, and yeah. then Livy Rodrigo made that song about me. <laughs> oh, that's a beautiful song. Wondering when this was going. <laughs> On my fourth test, I hit the girl taking the test after me. <laughs> I got mine on the first go. Did you? In a tractor. <laughs> oh, you went to ag school. <laughs> you could drive a forklift, a tractor. Yeah, you were bailing up hay, <laughs> telling them about your home and away days, <laughs> bailing them up in the corner. Yeah, that's With me. With a bit of hay at your yeah. mouth and you're a Cooper on. Um, I love this story. It's about a 53-year-old woman from Massachusetts. Um, and she was practising how to drive in a graveyard, in, in a cemetery. Um, I don't know why. Uh, she was with a family member. Um, they're in a Range Rover. Oh, yeah. Um, I can anyway. get through most things. 53 yeah, she... woman practising. So yeah. I'm 53-year-old woman. So she yes. hasn't had her licence. She's gone, you know what? I want my licence. Never okay. too never too old, never no, too young. No, no, you're not. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. um, anyway, she ended up crashing into eight headstones <laughs> <laughs> and police admitted she should never have gotten her permit because um, obviously she had a learner's permit. Police said all eight headstones uh, sustained serious damage but neither the driver nor her companion were injured in the accident. I mean, oh. cemeteries are not the right no. place unless you're practising... You know, um, dodging, dodging stuff. Dodging What's stuff. Wow, it's disrespectful. <laughs> but I guess unless there's a road through the cemetery and then she's just clipped the curb and hit the headstone. Have a look at the photo. I know, I know. She's, no, she's nowhere near the road in the middle. No. And aren't you meant to hold your breath when you go past the cemetery? Maybe she was holding her breath the entire time. Are you time. serious? Why? Have you heard that before? No. What, so you don't suck in the spirits? Oh, yeah. That's it. Growing up, I swear this is a thing. Growing up in Perth, if we drove past the, past the cemetery, uh, my whole family, we go... <gasps> And hold our breath. Oh. Okay. I can't, someone must have heard of this before. I'm not... Um, can someone please text in? It's a thing. You hold your breath when you pass a cemetery. And also when you go over a speed bump, you lift your, you lift your feet. Unless you're the person driving, obviously. You lift your feet lift, over why? a speed bump. I don't know. So you feel the bump in, harder? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Bump me harder. No, <laughs> I, it, it was just a thing. Because you're sucking up the cemetery. <laughs> I know. It was, that was just a thing that we did in the Christmas. No, I like that. It's, it's cute. It's, yeah. it's cute. I love your yeah, family cuties. things. We should do that. What, what was your cute family thing growing up? We should do that tomorrow. Yes. Okay. We write should. It down. <laughs> if we can be bothered. Uh, 13, 24, 10. What went down in the cemetery? Or why did you fail your driving test? As we get some big energy from Lato. Kate, Tim and Joel. Oh, yeah. We love the energy from Lato and the gang. Here on Nova, Kate, Tim and Joel. I can tell you got BD energy. Um, we're going to get to... <laughs> love it. Going to get to the cemetery chat in a second. This was the woman, uh, the two ladies in Perth that I was telling you about a second ago. Oh, yeah. um, punching on in Perth. One wearing a mask, one not. Outside a nail. Sally. Oh! So all I did was I should put a mask on. Test me. All the Stop it. Oof. That was Carl's. Oof. Oh, the oof. Here it is again. Here it is. Oof. Uh, oh, what did you call me, Carl? I <laughs> think I recognise that shopping. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, here I am. Um, is that Garden City? That's oh, that Garbo, looks like, is it? It looks like Garden looks City. Like, looks like Garbo. Oh, that's a foot. That's a foot. That, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah. Those girls are dressed up and they're getting their nails done, but probably heading out to Claremont or something. Oh, I know. Yes, to the library nightclub. Oh, that's fantastic. Or Club Base Spew. <laughs> Club Base Spew. Oh, really? Oh, no, the OB. The OB. Oh, the OB. We've got our hands for dinner beforehand. Oh, those beef yeah, and hockey, the chicken and hockey noodles with yeah. cashew nuts. You get the meal deal with a can of Coke <laughs> for sixteen ninety nine. We're going out, mate. We'll have a bottle of Oyster Bay. Thank you very oh, much. Oh, get on the plonk. <laughs> Because I've got my nails done and had my face punched in. Mm. Um, let's go back to the cemetery because we're talking about this lady who's for some reason <laughs> in a college town. It's so funny. Uh, driven through a cemetery. Yeah, she's 53 years old. She's on a learner's permit and her, her and her mate that was teaching her to drive, mm. um, po- possibly the husband, I'm not sure, um, Was uh, they were driving through a cemetery and she hit, she hit <laughs> um, and damaged eight gravestones um, as well as... Um, her own Range Rover. You know what she should have done? Watch Channel 9's The Driving Test. Tonight on The Driving Test. <laughs> I recognise that lovely voice. Yeah, there's so many episodes of that on 9 now, so do yourself a favour. Whose voice was that? That was Me. Blackers. Oh, was that you? Yeah. Tell it again. Can you, can you play it again? That's on air. In the, I got a friend of friends of mine in London watching that on like a streaming service. Oh, you're international. That's sweet. Tonight on The Driving Test. A driver whose head isn't in the game. Oh, it is and a redhead yeah. who can't get his pedal off the metal. Will they pass or will they fail? Find out. It's actually oh. pretty funny. A promo of ours came on in, I was in the back of an Uber the other day with some friends and a promo of ours came on. And there was a bit of Kate, there was a bit of me and there was a bit of you, Blackers. And my friend went, oh, he's got a great voice. Oh. And I went, well, Kate and I were the ones doing the gag in that promo, yeah. but that's fine. You Must know. have been a short promo, that one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> hey, now, um, you, you gave giving us an insight to the crazy household because you were telling me that, and, and Kate and the listeners, <laughs> that um, when you were, <laughs> went past... They're all here. I don't know, sometimes I feel like it's just Joel and I. Yeah. Um, when you go past the cemetery, you do what? Yes, you hold your breath. And my friend Matt from Perth also said um, you also hold up the bridge when you drive under it. So when you drive under a bridge, you put your hat... You, you, Hands on the roof. I remember we used to do that growing up as well. Hold your breath driving past the cemetery. Lift your feet up when you go over a speed bump. Uh, Marissa, you're with Joel here. Yes. Yeah, we did it as um, a kid as well. But we also had to put our finger on the glass window um, to stop yeah, stop the ghost. So we'd all hold our breath and we'd all stick our finger on the glass window. Okay. Oh, wow. Like out of respect or something, like E.T. Can't ghosts go through things? I don't know. Mm, what if it's a big cemetery? Well, that's well, what that's, I mean. Yeah. Well, that was always the problem. You'd, 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 have to, you'd, you'd know there was one near our house and I'd go to a big... <laughs> what about the one in Ligon past, Street yeah. in North Carlton up there? Mm. That would, you're holding your breath I still for days. Do it. I still do it. At 31 years old, if I'm yeah. driving past, I'll still hold my breath past the cemetery. Isn't that sweet? Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, I was about to say something so rude. Be careful where I'm uh, Did it involve... Oh, no, I can't even get my mouse over there in time. Don't worry about it. Mandy, you failed yeah. the driving test. How? Why? Oh, my goodness. So I've done my whole driver's test. Yeah. And yeah. it's in Burwood, so I'm turning just one more corner. That's it. I've passed, but the, the, the light went... I was yellow, but he said it was red. So in the last 15 seconds, I failed my driving test. Because uh, he said it was red, and I said it was yellow. Oh, the bastard. Oh, the bastard. Oh, what a break. Is it yellow? Is the light yellow? What do you or mean? Amber. Do you, do you amber. Call it's amber. Amber. Orange or, yeah, amber has okay. the answer. No. Orange. <laughs> amber has the answers. <laughs> Who are they? Tiles. I think or so. Or, or it's like, I don't know. What is Amber. You know, Amber has the answers. I but think it's tiles. Amber tiles. What's the question? Have you got any tiles, Amber? Like, what, what, <laughs> yeah, what, what Amber? You, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Dale. I'm so confused. Hi, um, Dale. My mate failed seven times, and on his eighth attempt, he passed. Even after doing his reverse parallel park, he bumped into a parked <sighs> cop car. Oof. Oof. And he passed when on that on that go when he hit the cop car? He, he passed, and the instructor just told him to pull out and then take it straight back to the centre. And he, oh. um, he passed. Oh. He passed him and they didn't want to see him again, I guess. Yeah, and I was going to say the instructor was getting sick of your mate, Dale. Oh, yeah, everyone was. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oof, give me Carl's got something to say. Oh, dear. <laughs> Amber has the answer to tiles, apparently. Hello. Not you, Frank. Different oh. Come on. Kate, Tim and Joel. One wheel. <laughs> one spin. Spin the wheel. Oh, my God. It's time for the 
So much to do today. Let's spin the Wednesday wheel. Sponsored by our friends at Lego Masters today, which is fantastic. And they're giving us 500 bucks cash. Oh, good spin. Great spin, actually. Australia's well most done. loved competition is back. It's Lego Masters tonight, 7.30 on Channel 9 and 9. Now, what have we got? <laughs> You're not going to believe it. It's the cost of living Obo. Oh, oh, perfect. We haven't played that in ages ago. I think we played it all year. We, we will work that out. Um, okay, that's coming up after five. 13, 24, 10, the number now. If you think you are the Harry fan to beat all Harry fans. And I'm not talking about, like, you know... <sighs> What band did he yeah. first find him? Yeah, or the name of his first album. This is proper questions, guys. Oh, my God, look at the phone lines go. I know, you better run around and get on the phone, Blackers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'd love to know. answer the phones, actually. So. No, you, you say that. It's, it's <laughs> really? hideous. Well, I've never uh, seen it so lit up. <laughs> they've gone wild. Uh, the tickets go on sale next Wednesday, I believe. Next Wednesday, the 27th, yes, okay. He's here, February, March next year. If you want to go for free, 13, 24, 10, last man or woman standing. We're going to play Hazard, I guess, next. Kate, Tim and Joel. Oh, yes. Do you reckon he'll play that song when he's out here? Uh, I don't know. He has plenty of others. <laughs> he really does. This is Harry Styles. <laughs> we thought we knew when he was bringing his love on tour show to Australia, but now we definitely do. February, March 2023. Don't miss your chance. To see him live, tickets on sale next from LiveNation.com.au. Next wow. Wednesday, I think. Okay. They've left he, out the Wednesday. And he's back on stage at Coachella this weekend, yeah? Yeah, they do the, double, the two weekends, and the double weekend. Does that mean the same guest act? Like, is it going to be Shania again? Oh, or, I was wondering that. Yeah, is he going to do it like another throwback artist like Faith Hill? <laughs> I, would assume, I, I would assume not. Yeah, that's just me. Faith Hill, okay. or just it'll stick to Shania. Both. No, I assume Shania. I, I, I think maybe another surprise. Well, you'd hope oh. you'd be hoping for a surprise, wouldn't yeah. you? Like if if you were looking back and going, "Hang on, they got Shania. They got the big kind of moment. Yeah. We want and we that got too. Dido. Yeah. Oh, I like, like Dido. I've just seen Gemma say Mick Fleetwood. I've heard a Stevie Nicks or Mick Mick Fleetwood type arrangement myself as well uh-huh. as a rumor. Wow, that'd work. Yeah, and Mick Fleet was right up for it. I met him at the bathroom that time at the Enmore. He really, he was really yeah, impressed that right. you walked up to him yeah. in, the, in the toilet and asked for a photo. He said, let me wash my hands first. I go, sure, whatever. Just don't be rude about yeah, it. Can you like, <laughs> make it snappy? Oh, yeah, I've got to get back to the gig. And then everyone thought it was the 12th man guy when I put it up on my <laughs> socials. <laughs> That's my, oh, I love that guy. Two for 22. No, it's not him. <laughs> it's Mick Fleetwood <laughs> from Fleetwood's, the restaurant chain in Hawaii. Um, <laughs> now I'm confused. Is that true? Yeah. Oh, good and on he, him. And he was in a band as well. Uh, briefly. <laughs> um, guys, we have five questions and a bank of callers ready. I mean, the calls have gone wild. We've mentioned before Feb 20 in Perth, Feb 24 Melbourne, uh, Feb 28 Gold Coast. No Brisbane. Interesting. Gold Coast. And then uh, March 3 Sydney, no Adelaide. Oh, Metricon Stadium, Gold Coast. That's pretty massive. So no Brisbane. No. But, but, I get, but, but Gold Coast. It's yeah, Gold Coast. That's, that's fine. Yes, the, big day out, the Big Day Out was always Gold Coast, not oh, Brisbane. Oh, I see. You ever go to the Big Day Out? Me? me no, I did as a Casanova. Did you? I went and handed out stickers and, and bottles of water as a, as a Casanova. Sophia, how are you feeling about the news? You woke up this morning. You might have been on some kind of internet site that told you last night that it will announce the tour today, but how are you feeling on a scale of 1 to 10? Oh, like... 100. <laughs> okay. Good answer. Yeah, she's conserving energy. Mm. I Look, know, ready for the game. You're the first caller, which means you have the best chance to win these tickets. And we have five questions. Now, if you get one of them wrong, we have to move on to the next person. You okay with that? Oh, Lord. Oh, no. These mm. look quite tricky. <laughs> Let me have a look. Well, not if you're a fan, maybe. Well, that's true. Yeah. And that's what we want. We want the tickets to go to someone who really deserves them. Mm, someone that's going to just lose their mind. Okay, question one. You ready, Sophia? Oh, yeah, I am. Harry Styles debuted two unreleased songs during his Coachella set last weekend. One was Late Night Talking. The other was called what? Um, uh, I Feel Like a Woman? Was it A Man I Feel Like a Woman? It's a Shania Twain song. But good guess. I'm a good, good guess, yes, right. Gemma, any ideas? Do you want me to yeah. repeat the question? Um... Boyfriend? Boyfriend! Shem are very confident there as well. I was 
this is. Yeah, it's it from Coachella. Bit weird if I was playing a different one. <laughs> oh, Joel's not giving it a stamp of approval. Oh, no, it's a good song. It's a good song. It's a great song. No, that's my face when I love something. Oh. Oh, you're a nightmare. <laughs> um, question number two. Now, listen to the wording of this question, Gemma, because I might have been a bit tricky here. Okay. It means you need to know one thing to know the answer to this. What was the exact date? I need month, day, and year. The exact date, the year before Harry Styles was born. The exact date, the year before Harry Styles was born? Yeah, so we kind of need you to know his birthday and then tell yeah. us the okay. exact date the year before. And one year? Mm-hmm. Okay, the 1st of February, 1993. Oh Spot on! God, we've got a fan on the line! Yeah. <laughs> so that means, that means on that date, Harry's mum wasn't even pregnant. Harry wasn't even... A chance then. Maybe oh, no. maybe a twinkle in an eye Imagine. somewhere. Oh, yeah, yeah maybe. Yeah, yeah, thought. Because yeah. he's got a sister, is that it? That's not uh, a question, by the way, Gemma. I'm just asking. Oh, I'm I know he's got a sister. Now. Um, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Because his sister does, tweeted after. Uh, called Gemma. Yeah, Gemma oh, tweeted after Gemma. after the concert that it was absolutely true that him, uh, her, and Harry did sing to Shania Twain songs in the car. Oh. oh. It's a shame she didn't get a mention on stage, though, because Harry just said it was just him. I know. Mm-hmm. Gosh, mm-hmm. Families, mate. Right? Yeah. Families. Yeah. All right, question three. Come You're on. three questions away from getting Harry Styles tickets here, Gemma. Yeah. Oh, God. Name one of the two upcoming movies Harry Styles is starring in. One of the two upcoming movies Harry Styles is starring in. Yeah. Don't worry, darling. Or uh, my policeman. Yeah. Oh I want you God. to go. I want, I know. You, to go, I want you to win, Gemma. What part of the world are you good. are you calling from, Gem? Uh, Melbourne. Melbourne. Oh, we love you. Feb twenty four, Marvel Stadium. You're two questions <laughs> away from being my birthday. there. <gasps> oh, I just got. I actually just got goosebumps. Well, she's gonna get these next two. I know. And also, did you hear me just then? I said, oh, we love you. Like her, I've turned into Rhonda Birch more. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We love you, Gemma. Oh, we love you. One more Carlotta. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Harry has three songs with fruits in the title. I need all three of them. Okay. Watermelon, sugar, kiwi, and... Watermelon, uh, sugar, kiwi, and... Mm. Cherry. Oh. You're the best, Gemma. How many Gemma. to go? One. Oh, one no. Now, oh, yes, I mean. Our, our Gemma with a G in here and you're a Gemma with a J, would you think you're the um, supreme Gemma with a J or do you think, because you think G's a little bit made up? Uh, well, I personally feel like Gemma with a G is pronounced Gemma. Yeah, Gemma. interesting. Oh, oh, wow. Well, Gemma, wow. Well, Gemma told me that this question, Gemma, um, Gem said in the office today that a real fan would need to know this. Yeah. And, and Gem's think, firing back in the office. She says G is better. G is harsh. It's like it's like Jeff with a G. It's like, oh, seriously? And he's a bit adult. <laughs> Jeff with a G. <laughs> Jeff with a J is a bit more, you know, up a bit and more about. up and about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like Nick with an N. I love yeah. it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> which fictional island does the Adore You music video take place on? Which fictional island does the Adore You music video take place on? Oh, the fictional island. Oh, uh, it's called like a, 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 a rotor. A Yes, it is. Oh, that's so great. Gemma, you're going to see Harry Styles on your birthday in Melbourne. Oh my God, thank you so much. Oh, congratulations, Gemma. I'm Oh, yeah, as you should be. That's excellent. And Gemma, just so you know, our Gemma has just given us a bit of information that Eroda is actually a door spelt backwards. So there you go. Congratulations. Better. Well done. Harry tickets for all of us go on sale next week, Wednesday, for when he hits town early in the new year. Here's Becky Hill and David Guedes. Your favourite song. Yes. Yes. Kate, Tim and Joel. Remember. Joel's favourite song. Becky okay. Hill, David Guetta. Oh. Remember. Just, I don't know why I love it so much. I really want to, I want to have a dance Well, to you're it. a good-time girl, that's why. Yeah, I really am. I am a good-time girl. Imagine me at a club to that song.
Yeah. Oh gosh. Oh, oh I'd be going off. Burning up that, that dance floor. Oh, no, I'd dance oh, around no. a handbag. You wouldn't be sitting in the corner. You'd be yeah. up and about. No wallflower, Joel Creasy. Oh no oh, way. No. Good movie that though. Is it Diary of a Wallflower? What's the oh, one? Was that with Emma oh. Watson? Perks of being a wallflower, same thing. <laughs> yes. Diary of a Diary of a wallflower. Similar. Yeah. I hate life. I'm boring. <laughs> Dear diary. I hate Not getting involved in things. <laughs> now, we know that you're a big Chewy fan. So if you were a yeah. resident of France, I have a feeling I know which way you'd be voting as well. Um, mm. Yes. Now you've made me really nervous about doing this story because I'm going to muck up the pronunciation. You yeah, well, let's, let's see how you go. Have you seen the photo mm. of French President Emmanuel Macron. No, don't. No, you did do well. That's that. good. No, that's good. Matt Macron. Yeah, that's good. Emmanuel Macron. Yeah. Macron? That's not what you were saying. You were then saying back to me when I was saying, mm. is it Macron? You were saying, yes, it's Macron. I'm like, no, that's the opposite to what I'm saying. It's the thing that Adriano Zumbo makes. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, the ma- macarons. The bloody Zumbo. <laughs> that's so confusing. Anyway, this photograph of him. I know. Like, like he's the president. Oh, yeah. he is a bit sexy there. Uh, yeah, but I don't want to see the guy that I might vote for looking like that. But I guess if really? whatever's going to get you over the line, he's he's laying back on a very expensive mustard yellow couch. Yeah, I like the couch. I think that's the problem. And he's couch got a touch of the Dickie Wilkinses there. Have you noticed? Because he's got two phones. <laughs> oh, is that? Oh, I was oh, wondering yeah. what else was similar. He's in black slacks and a lovely black belt and a white shirt that seems to be unbuttoned a bit like you unbutton yours, blackers, right down to the navel. Only mm. when you're having a good time. Time. Like yeah. he looks like he's like at least he looks like he's he's confident and yeah. relaxed. He's, he's got relaxed. Chest. He's I got can chest do hair. this. I know an elbow couldn't sit like that. Oh my god! Hairy please, chest no. or not? Please no. No, I don't think they should. No. That's funny that you're a little bit of a prude like that. It's About only that. like three buttons. Oh, no, I, I reckon, I'm three buttons today. Look. But that's okay. You're not running for president. I, I just be. feel like <laughs> if you're that confident and a bit sexy and a bit yeah. all of that, you don't need to unbutton the shirt like that. You can be the president. But why do you have a problem you with the unbuttons? Because I've seen your, your shirt unbuttoned way down before <laughs> too. <laughs> yeah. What's the difference? I beg your pardon. You've never <laughs> seen my shirt yeah. unbuttoned. Oh, yeah, yeah, when you do your Friday funnies and you go, woo! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't find the sound effect quick enough, so I had to do it myself. That's two boob jokes in two days from you. Just saying. <laughs> well, one wasn't a joke, and you know it. <laughs> Pick which one you want. Yeah, and they're called boozies around here. Yeah, they're boozies, thanks. Boobers. <laughs> Boobers in our house. Oh, um, with my Mammary daughter. Mammary glands yes. in our house. Breasts. Thanks for the memories. <laughs> yes, thank God for them. You know, they're life givers. Oh, yeah. Or something. Oh, they yeah. feed people. Yeah. Um, they feed not people, like your people. Shouldn't be feeding other people. <laughs> no. <laughs> Shouldn't the person, the little person you may have given birth yeah, no. to. Anyone want a snack? Yeah. Maybe feed them. Anyone yeah. peckish? If you want. If you feel like yeah. it, if you don't, that's fine too. And your left one's dare ice coffee for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Kate, Tim and Joel. Oh, Ed. Oh, Beebs. Another two blokes coming to Australia very soon. I mean, how amazing. We've got Harry today, Ed, Beebs. Oh, Oof. No. Oof. It's like an avalanche of men. Here we go. Mm. Bieber first, Ed second, Harry third. Is that correct? I think so. That's the trifecta there. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. In no particular order, just in... In, in the order in of appearance. appearance. Yeah. Yes. yes. Oh, that's not a nice order, actually. You go, Bieber, big show, Ed, familiar, friendly, lovely. Yeah, guy next big door. Big show still. Oh, yeah. of course. And then Harry, just, you know, the cool friend that you yeah, want to have. sex and rock and roll and all that. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, let's check what's happening in the world of glossies. The glossies. On screen. On screen. On screen. This is a bit of fun. Look who's back in the news. Oh, that's mm. right. Harry's given another interview and he's chatting about the fact that America is his home, mm-hmm. but he is concerned or, it, well, I don't know, I don't want to use the word concerned, yeah. but he is, he wants to make sure that the right people are around his grandfather. Yes, well done. There really was no other option. What's that? What, what does that grab mean? Mm. About moving. Oh, about moving. Yeah. Um, now, you see, her name, because uh, Hoda's doing the interview. Mm. Yeah, um, she works with Kathy Lee. Yeah, absolutely. Loves drinking wine in the morning on yes. the, the Today Show. It's almost the version of the Today Extra show that Dave and Silver do. Yeah. And it's Hoda and Kathy Lee. But yeah. Hoda, K-O-T-B. 
Yeah, I've never known how to pronounce that, but her surname is spelled K O T B. How's it's it like pronounced? Hoda. I don't. No, I don't know. Hoda Kotb. Kotb. I'm not even going to try. Hoda Kotb. Hoda Kotb. Is there a silent letter there somewhere? I don't know. K O T B. I do love Kathy Lee and Hoda. That's like if me and KO Sports got our own app. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, next glossy, please. Okay. Um, oh, this is I'm Johnny Depp. obsessed Dare. with the truth. He's obsessed with the truth, as we know. Uh, um, yes, do you know what's happening in this story? Uh, I feel like I might have sent it through. This is an acting acting bit, not so much about the case, but it's been revealed. Oh, that he does something. Has an earpiece. Oh, that's right. A friend has said that he, uh, for years, for like 20 years or so Mm. now, has always, has never bothered learning his lines and has always had an earpiece. Yeah. That's rumoured that Marlon Brando, I believe, in The Godfather had an earpiece. Because also, if you're that good, why do you need to learn your lines? Because because learning your lines is one of the skills you're meant to have. Yeah, I do agree. But what if it's Johnny Depp needs to be on a pirate ship for two hours and we need to knock these scenes out? Just tell him his lines. It's just a horror my hearties. The sound text dropped a minute. Who worked on, um, worked with him, with him from 2016. Oh, look, oh. I get it. If, if, like you said, it might be a big scene where they're doing stunts or something and they don't really know what they need, but they want to feed the dialogue. Yes, yes. And it's yeah. a bit more impro or something. Yeah, and but in fairness, he said a lot of the time as well, the earpiece wasn't just for learning lines. It was also pumping music through um, oh. to relax him. Oh, oh, gosh, oh, maybe music to get in for the scene and stuff. Wow. I okay. quite like it. Now, like um, it. from one knob end to another, who's this? <laughs> oh, oh, your mate. This is um, uh, Jay, is it Jaden? Yeah, Jaden Smith. Jaden Smith. Um, look, he, he said in a recent interview that he prefers hanging out with adults. He doesn't relate to anyone his own age. I was picking up more things from adults than I were from kids my own age. I go Ugh. around sometimes and I hang out with other people that are my age and they're just... Kind of just get I'm just like, can we talk about like the political and economic state of the world right now? I mean, seriously. Oh my God, you entitled little brat. Of course, because everyone else isn't surrounded by the people you are, Jaden Smith. Yeah. Can we just talk about the environmental state of the world right now and economical oh. state of the world right, right now? When's With you? Do, yeah, do you think if he was that mature, he'd be making comments like that? And when did he give this interview? Because the whole Smith family need to just be go into lockdown. Yeah, I want, I want to ban. You know how Will's been banned from the Oscars for ten years? Can yeah. we ban the Smith family from the world for ten years? Yeah, from microphones. They need to go into a twenty twenty style COVID lockdown. <laughs> Or put him into Big Brother, so that would be Big Brother with Reggie and stuff. <laughs> what well, we'd still have to watch with, though, with Reggie. We? No, but we just, uh, I don't know. You turn them off. Yeah. I'm oh. now watching that. <laughs> yeah. oh, gosh, let's see how Trevor goes again. <laughs> <laughs> Who's, Who's Trevor? Yeah, exactly. I saw the promo. Oh. I've, been, I've been watching The Voice. Uh, you can tell I'm watching a bit of free to wear because I know promo. Yeah. I know. <laughs> and finally, this is a great little bit of gloss. Who's this um, here? Oh, Who's now that? I don't know the background yeah. of this, but of co- there was. There was a guitar that was the centrepiece of a big argument between Liam and Noel Gallagher, part yeah. of the reason why the band broke up. I don't know if you can add to that, Blackers, but it's now going up for auction in France. That's oh. right. So it was the guitar that they say the night that Oasis split up, they reckon that they picked the night in 2009, being auctioned off with a starting price of $220,000. Oh, my God. Is Kate, Tim, and Joel yes. on Nova? Tools are down. I mean, we can't call it because Joel Creasy is about to hit the stage in literally one hour from now in Melbourne in at the Town Hall. One hour if you're in Melbourne, there's still some tickets left to come and see me tonight. Mm. Obviously, you've got time because I'm not there yet either. So. No, that's no. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, LiveNation.com.au, JoelCreasy.com.au. Yeah, or just whack it in Google, Joel Creasy Melbourne. Ah, oh, spell his name right, though. It gets very funny if you yeah. don't, even though I you'll know. still get to the page. Don't drop the E. Uh, don't now, drop the E. We know the long weekend is calling, and so is Thirsty Camel. <laughs> Oh, 
Bang with on. great deals on all your favourite drinks. Find your nearest bottle shop at thirstycamel.com.au. Drink responsibly. Uh, we're on the hunt for a listener with the fastest fingers. Got to put the camel call out now. Kate's got the burn the phone in her hand. I'm going to be better at it today. Send the text out. The first to get back to us gets $2,000 thanks to our friends at Thirsty Camel and a $200 Thirsty Camel voucher. I've already sent it so quick today. Are yep. there any games on that burner phone or anything? Yes, yeah, Snake. Sna- oh my god, you got Snake? Yeah, look, it's one of those little flip ones. I'm waiting for it to vibrate. Oh, it's like in the Matrix. It's oh, the they're Matrix. a bit slower today. Well, should I put Adele on and give him the phone? Have I done it correctly? Yeah, you probably have. Yeah. Um, oh, Kate, you've texted oh, me. We, no. We've got one through. Okay. Yeah, who is it? Bailey. Bailey, all right, we'll call you next. Two grand and 200 bucks to spend at Thursday Capital. Kate, Tim, and Joel. Oh, Adele. She would love a Thirsty Camel bottle shop. Oh, my gosh. Wouldn't I mean, she? Who, who wouldn't? Yeah, well, of course, who wouldn't? She's only human, I guess. I mean, especially that song, I Drink Wine. You can get wine at Thirsty Camel. I oh, know. You don't have to get out of your car. Bailey, you answered the camel call faster than anyone else for two grand. Congratulations. Oh, Bailey. Bailey. Hello. Oh, hi. Oh, my gosh. Are you in a dishwasher or something, Bailey? I don't know. Hold on. Okay. Oh, hold oh. on. <laughs> they, oh, wow. Did you stop the car? Um, two grand and 200 bucks to spend at Thirsty Camel. Well done. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. You answered the Camel call. We'll do it again tomorrow. Uh, download the Nova Play app. Be a part of it. Thank you, Thirsty Camel, for getting involved. Thank you. Now, from Thirsty Camel to something very serious, and that is mooning. <laughs> uh, that's right. We say, we say mooning. Mooning. Mm, I don't think I've ever mooned anyone. Oh, well, I, I bet you have. <laughs> no, I, no, I didn't. No, I always had, like, ne- never got into it when the, when when the boys were doing it at school. Really? Yeah. You're a liar. You're not <laughs> like Johnny Depp. You're not obsessed with the truth. Really. No, I'm not into. I'm not I'm into mooning. Obsessed with the truth. <laughs> I'm like Joel Creasy. Oh, <laughs> Joel, you big um, mooner from way back. Big moon- <laughs> um, I was thinking the same, Joel, while we were listening to Tim do his thing over there. I'm thinking, I don't think I've mooned anyone either. No, like I'd never, sh- I, or the like, people that stick their bum up against glass. I was going to say, I've, I've put my bum on a windscreen yeah, as a I wouldn't kid do, so I wouldn't uh, do that. in high school. Like the back of the bus. No, what's the what? No, just no. Well, you know when car. you sometimes you're sitting in traffic. We've all seen a bottom on a on a bus window full of school kids giggling like teenagers. Yeah. Yeah, but I reckon. Yeah. I think that's just in movies that people do that. <laughs> I don't think you've seen oh, that what either. About, well, the famous mooning scene, I don't know if it is, yeah. is in Greece where they oh, have the da- at the dance. Yes, yes. And, and they have the lights at the dance and then all the cheeky fellas from the thunder, the, the birds. The, yeah, the T-birds. The T-birds run out and they put their butts on the telly. That's I would have thought right. the most famous movie scene um, with the moon in it was the first human centipede movie. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I one I watched that with an ex, and oh we watched in different room. Well, I, he watched in a different room. I watched Burlesque with Cher and Christina Aguilera, while he watched um, Human Centipede. I've never seen it. I don't need to see it. You it, can't well, there's three of them. see it. What it do you mean? It would be weird if you came into work on Monday and you're like, I binged Human Centipede. I've finally all the seen it, yeah. guys. <laughs> I've seen that thing about the submarines on whatever that was. Oh, vigil. Oh, vigil. I've well, finally you're... watched Vigilance and the Human <laughs> Centipede. It's called Vigil, but that's fine. Oh, um, if you're tossing up, I'm talk because I'm hyper vigilant. Oh, exactly. Mm. If you're at home tonight, they're going. Oh, what do I do? Watch. Don't look up or human centipede. Go human centipede. You'll be much more. Oh, you might. Gosh. You'd get it. You'd get. You'd be. You'd At be all over. Get it. Yeah, all, it. all over the human centipede. It's your level. I really need the climate exp- explained to me by. Um, Meryl Streep and the gang. <laughs> Do you want to get to this mooning story? Yeah. This poor man yeah. who is terminally ill and... Oh. Well, I'm just saying this because it kind of makes sense of the story. He's written okay. a bucket list of all this stuff he wants to do. Okay. Oh, yeah, well, that's what people do if they know that their time is coming or if they're getting older. Yes. Like your bucket list, your last meal would be an apple, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> no. Because you love a good apple. Nothing better than a good <gasps> apple, according to Kate. I was talking to someone today and they said, if you had to eat one meal for the rest of your yeah, life. Yeah, what would it be? I actually said a turkey sandwich with avocado and beetroot and a little bit of um, cranberry and salt and pepper. On wholemeal bread. That was my exact answer. And they said, Are you kidding? Well, yours, that's so bad. But if you had to eat, not not a last meal, just the thing that you can eat over and over and over. Wow. Mm. 
Mm, oh, your you. days. You and oh. your mates. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if there's any <laughs> being Lara Bingle, being Kate Ritchie. I know. I would oh, mate, have to follow you guys would around. Pay, you'd watch it, Joel. I would watch the hell out of that. Yeah, you and, the, you yep. and the home office I, no, changing the tone. Too. You would watch it. I you'd watch hate. It. You'd hate watch it. I'd go. Why isn't? Why has she got that big thing that's covering her TV on her TV stand? <laughs> why, why won't she move that? That's what I'll say. You'd be watching it <laughs> like you that? were watching. Yes, I remember. <laughs> that, and that cabinet has been moved, and that yes, cabinet so. wasn't meant to be in that house. <laughs> I'm like, does she know that that cabinet is holding her TV up? You would watch being Kate Ritchie like I you would. would. You were watching Simply Red in oh the office God, we were. this afternoon, hating it and laughing at the guy with the red hair and saying that UB40 and Genesis and all those bands are sad. No, I just it was a sad, it was a bit of a, it was a bit of a nothing era. Simply Red and and right. UB40 Ooh, and cool. Genesis. It was a bit like, no, oh, seriously, okay. is that all you got? Oh wow! Anyway, Daryl McKean and Meek come. Sorry, <laughs> what? A lecturer named Daryl. I, I hadn't that read it. Doesn't really properly. matter. What's on his it, bucket it, list? He wanted to moon people or something. Oh, that's on his bucket list. Anyway, on his list was to moon a speed camera. Um, and he was driving, and Daryl, with two R's and two L's, mm. pulled down his pants, continued to drive. The police have shown up at his house. They've yeah. questioned his behaviour. Yeah. And he was arrested for using threatening behaviour towards the police. Oh, no, Daryl. Yeah, he's now been charged for his overreaction to being arrested. And I don't think it's the only time he's been in a bit of trouble. I feel as though his bucket list is a bit on the risque side or it's a bit... Oh, really? What else is on the list? Well, I don't know. But it's not going to, you know, Fiji for a holiday (laughs) with the the family. Yeah, (laughs) Bula. Or Bali to eat pasta, like eat, pray, love. Remember that? (laughs) Oh, gosh. She eats pasta and barley. Yeah, Does she? What kind of pasta? Oh, no, it's something like what that. Do Doesn't she eat pasta and then go to barley? Like, oh, all yeah, her, every meal's pasta. You're only saying that because of the cover of the book is a bowl of pasta, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, of course. That's why I'm saying it. But why? What's <laughs> why barley else? Yeah. Well, I'm going to say Tom Yum soup when I know that the, the front is a bowl of pasta. <laughs> well, that doesn't make sense for barley. Oh, that's right. She wants to eat pasta in Italy and then something in barley. What? And then she wants to meditate in Bali. Isn't there a third one? She sounds like a nightmare. Eat, pray, love. Yeah, and then tell us all about it in a book and make millions. Make heaps, yeah. Who's laughing? Um, uh, uh, Kathy. (laughs) Kathy Lett. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, she had plenty of pasta in Italy. She's well travelled. That's right. Kathy. Mm -hmm. The only thing a woman wants in bed. Breakfast. (laughs) Oh, (laughs) oh. (laughs) I'm opening with that tonight. (laughs) You should. Oh, here's my favourite Moon song from a while. This song was massive, wasn't it? Massive. Uh, we're back with uh, Pobo. After this. Kate, Tim and Joel. Yeah, when you do your Friday funnies and you go, Woo! Kate, Tim and Joel, driving you home on Nova. Kim and Joel, and we spun up Hobo on the Wednesday wheel today, and our good friends at Lego Masters have given us 500 bucks cash. What? It's back tonight. Australia's most loved competition, Lego Masters, new episode, 7.30 on 9 and 9 now. Hobo, next. Kate, Tim and Joel. Jax Jones. It's Kate, Tim and Joel, Wednesday, real time. It's time for this. Money. It's time for... You know how much it costs your buy. Hobo. Money's the filthiest thing ever. We haven't played this this year. I don't think so. I believe we have. I don't think we have. Or did we call it something else? I oh, know, it's mm. been Pobo for years. Yeah, but didn't we have to rebrand it for something? Oh, yes, maybe yeah. over Christmas, for, potentially. For oh. something like that. Cost of living. Okay, Back to so its old name. That was yeah. okay, yeah. But I don't think we played even that this year. No. no. We got really addicted to um, Tim's Vert Alarm for a while. Oh, and I'm still oh. addicted. Oh, yeah, I'm addicted to Tim's Vert Alarm as well. It's your Vert Alarm. It's my Vert Alarm. It's <laughs> Tim's Vert Alarm. We'll play <laughs> that. Well, I think we should give that a go on Friday. It's become one of those little Friday things. Oh, good it's idea. So good. Yes, thanks. Look at you. It's the blood pumping. It does, as does Pobo. And I guess, really, they, this day and age, things are so much more expensive. I mean, look at fuel. Don't get me started. Oh, I know. Oh, Crazy. my God. Bloody Howard. Yeah. <laughs> and going to sense, Coachella apparently is expensive this year. Yeah, Everyone's I, talking about that. A mate of mine just got back. Oh, he said the drinks, the lines, the Ubers. Oh. The lines to get into the places. Lines. <laughs> I was waiting. I was, I was oh like, goodness. are you going to do this or am I? <laughs> One of us is going to do it. <laughs> Tom. <laughs> Hello, uh, Joel's playing for you today in Povo. 500 bucks cash, straight up and down. You'll be able to fill your tank with that. Hello, Tom. 
go. You can do it. Oh, thank you very much, Tom. Mm, kind you... of basic, yep. All right. <laughs> Let's see how Courtney goes. Kate's mm, contestant. Okay. Hey, Cots. Hello. Hi, Courtney. Come on, win it for me. Please, 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 Kate. I've got all my faith in you. Thank you. Oh, now, we you found out about mm. a couple of days ago that Joel was a Costco member. Did you remember that? Oh, yes, I am oh. a Costco member. Where you and put I, your own photo on your yeah, card or something? Every year like when license. you renew your membership, you have to get a new photo. Yeah, but you can't keep it like a passport photo or a licence photo. You've got to go in and get a new pic. Are the savings that big? Like, are you get, are you getting half price of stuff that we don't know about? Okay. Is that why? Well, I used to live across the road, remember? With yes. that apartment, you give me lots of crap. Yeah, well, it was always important to have your first house near an ice rink and Costco. <laughs> uh, well, it's just, it's just weird when you're like, your closest grocery store is a Costco. So I couldn't just pop down for like one tube of toothpaste and have to buy a 50. No, I don't understand that. Why? <laughs> Do you need to be a member? Do you have to pay to be a member? Yes. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's like oh, you 35 pay bucks. Oh a God. year. Seriously? I think so. To get the savings. Yes. Well, let's see. Um, because we've got Costco items here today. Oh, well, this is unfair if Joel's the member. Um, well, I don't, clearly I don't even know if you have to pay to get it. I don't think Joel's buying any of this stuff. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I give an item, uh, the closest to guess the cost, without going over, gets a point. All prices in AUD. Thank you very much for that. All prices in AUD, just in case anyone was going to do it in euros. Yeah, I was going to do it in yen, so thank you. Yeah, I know. Okay, here we go. If I want to purchase a platinum oval and round brilliant cut, 3.40. From Costco? CTW? What is that? Is that carrot? I mean, can we Something write yeah, everything? Yeah, give me a thumbs up. Yeah, apparently it's a carrot. Okay, well, let's write carrot maybe because I'm reading it on the radio. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> diamond ring. How much will it set me back from Costco? This is the ring here. It's beautiful, isn't it? How big is it again? Look at it. Yeah, I know, but it's enormous on there. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Like, if it was on my finger, what's the measurement? Um, I don't know. Oh, sorry. 30, well, 37 diamonds in the ring. Number of stones, one. Total diamond carrot rate is 3.40. And that's I know all I know. Anything about diamonds or carrot, like carrots in that world. You know, it's raining diamonds. <laughs> oh, I know. I love that song, but that's as close as I get. Um, it's very, it, can, it can be variable. I know. Diamonds. I'm going to go some... The quality of the diamond. Yes. I've okay, I know that. this is annoying. I know I'm irritating you, but I'm, I need these details. I'm just going for a really flat answer. It could be completely wrong. I've, I've lodged my answer, by the way. Yeah. Um, but I'm, I'm going Costco. Wow. Well, it's Costco, so I know it's not going to be super expensive. I Clearly, don't think I'm. So either, but. Ooh, you're both in. Yeah. I didn't know. Did I say the closest without going over? Oh, that's good because none of you are over. Um, you've both said this, Joel. You've gone straight up a thousand bucks. Kate, you've said one thousand two hundred dollars. The diamond ring is eighty nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents. At Costco. Yeah, you can buy big things at Costco. I was going to say though, and no disrespect to Costco, but if you have eighty nine thousand dollars to spend on a ring, yes, you're going to Tiffany's. Well, yes, wow, okay. or you know, yeah, sure. so many other places yeah. as well. Yeah, De Beers. De Beers. Zamels. Percy Marks. Is Zamels still there? Mm. Oh, Michael. Zamels. Michael. 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 Michael Bouplay? Hill. Michael Hill. Michael Hill. Oh, Michael Gregory's, Hill. I think. Yes. Is Gregory's is the pastry place in the UK where you get a pasty that burns That's your bell end. Greg's. Oh. Yeah, I call it Gregory's. I'm, oh, I'm do you? <laughs> Who's your bell end? Why are you putting it down there? Oh, that was oh. a uh, famous Sunday sport headline. The Greg's pasty burnt me bell end. Yeah, some oh, people put no, it anywhere. Yeah, right. true. Next item. Okay. okay, Richie, well done for that. Thank you. Mm, closest without going over to, just so you know. That should feel like a hollow victory, though, because you really were very close. Well, it's funny you say hollow, because what's more hollow than a coffin? <gasps> and if I want to purchase the... You are so good at this, Tim. Wattle Coffin. How much will it set me back? The Wattle Coffin. Have a look at that. Straight up and down. This is with a wind cane. Uh, the Wattle Coffin is a modest choice, constructed for medium density. It's got fibreboard. So not Finished wood. with Australian... Black butt veneer. Oh, veneer, veneer, though. Veneer, okay. We've I've seen black, fancy. We've got black butt fours. And it's got I've seen fancier nice... coffins. Yeah, it's got the, um, I don't know, are they silver handles? Yeah. This wouldn't work in Victoria where they, you know, just give everybody a state funeral. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, I've, I'm lodging my answer. Handing those out like M and M's. No, I can't die anytime soon because there's no state funerals left. There's none left for the Not year, anyone. surely. All right, I've lodged my answer. Go. Go lodged away. All right, you're both in. Closest without going over. 
This is hard. Joel, you've said one thousand five hundred dollars. Yeah. And Kate, you've said nine hundred flat. Well, the coffee is eight hundred ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents. No way. So you're over, which means no one gets that point. That's a really cheap coffin. Is it? That's a well. The veneer. Well, should we get the white ladies on the phone and see what they reckon? Is that a cheap coffin? You know, the white ladies, or are they the movers? I thought. Oh, that's the I white lady movers. No, yeah, white, white, white lady movers and then white, white lady funerals. funerals. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the white ladies are busy. Yeah, but the white glove movers are different. Oh, <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. And I think some men do that. Yeah, because you know, twenty twenty two and stuff. Of course, yeah, anyone of course. can wear a white glove. It's versatile. <laughs> yeah, right. Michael Jackson did it for years. Who's fine? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my doctor puts one on all the time. I've come in for an eye check. <laughs> <laughs> he does it like this. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that. <laughs> Yeah. Noise. Yep, Joel's here. <laughs> I know. Hold all my calls. Because he's also Inspector Gadget. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's how he talks. Okay, this is for the win, Kate Richie, to tie it up. Please, Joel, don't tie it up because we can't have this go for longer. Okay. <laughs> but good Look, luck, Joel. great so far. 500 bucks cash. If I want to purchase an Intex... Pure Spa Jet Massage Spa. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my friend like, has one. My no. friend has one. That looks fun. That could be fun. You blow oh, that my up friend or is has that permanent? One. Bl- it's blow up, I think. Uh, you can see it up to four people or five if you're kinky. Yeah. Or it provides one. relaxation at the touch of a button. The easy-to-use control panel activates the high-performance bubble jets Bubbles. surrounding the interior of the spa for a refreshing Massage, refreshing massage. Oh, Why can't I talk? One of those for Jacuzzi Friday. No, thank you. Hey, just quickly back to the coffins. Yeah. Gem, Gem just told me here that the coffin range at White Lady uh, costs between eight seventy and six thousand eight hundred. So well, eight that... o'clock's your entry. Eight eight o'clock. Eight hundred is your entry <laughs> level. Mm. Yeah, I'd want the the upper echelon. You right, would. I'm lo- lodging my ads. I would because I'm a real snob even in death. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you're both in. Kate, you've said 199 for the blow up spa, and Joel Creasy, you've said 750. Oh, God. Surely no, not. Joel. The spa is $799.99. <laughs> so now we have a tiebreaker on our hands. Oh, my goodness. Okay, this is the Costco edition of Pavo, okay. by the way. Keep it quick, guys. Our final okay, item. Okay, here. I'll lodge quick. You're playing for Tom and Courtney. 500 bucks cash. If you want to purchase a. Hal Ram Balance Greenhouse. A greenhouse. Oh, my God. A full greenhouse. It's 2.4 metres in width, 6 metres in length. The greenhouse is built to withstand the environmental conditions in Australia. What's it made of? And it comes, it's glass. It's a glass house. Does it come with glass? Is it aluminium or timber? Oh, my God. Oh. I'm reading everything I have. I know. But can I, look, my question's better than Kate's. Than than timber. Is, yeah. Does it come with the glass? I would assume so. Are you serious? Yes. Well, I don't know. That looks like a frame. It's like buying a pair of shoes and not getting shoes. No, not that. Not getting yeah. laces or something. Yeah. No. No, Zing, oh. you not got getting, me. Not getting the thing that's in the name. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. it's greenhouse, no, you, you... not glass house. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, so don't ignore me. But would there be glass in it? Yes. Of course yeah. there would be. But your point has been pro- proven, Kate. I, I, I apologise. Although I did buy my last car, I had to put the glass in myself. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I've lodged my answer, dickhead. Oh. Um, well, he said keep it quick. Yeah, I did. Oh, what? Um, dickhead's two words. A bit yeah. lengthy. Know, yeah, go on with your glass quick, house, quick, your quick, greenhouse, quick, Kate. Quick, 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 quick. If I people get this, people in glass it. houses, <laughs> what do they do? Put their own glass in. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's how the saying goes. I miss my glasses. Um, okay. You're in. Oh, dear. Here we go. This is for the win, guys. And we have a winner. On, Kate Ritchie said $1,600 for the glass house, no, that's greenhouse. So wrong. And Joel Creasy said $600. So $1,000 difference. And the greenhouse. None of this makes sense to me. Goes for $2,990. No! Yes. Oh, and you were so confident, Joel. Courtney, <laughs> 500 cash for you. Woo! Now I just need a few more hundred and I can buy a coffin. <laughs> Kate, Tim and Joel. It's Kate, Tim and Joel. We've let Joel go home early. Well, not last. Leave, but... stu- leave the studio, oh, leave the studio early. early. He's on stage in like 18 minutes. How's he going to throw his face no. on before then? Quarter past six. I'm very bad. 6.15. Yeah, 6.15. So 7 plus 15, mm. depending on where you are. No, it's always the same, isn't it's it? It's always time, the same. Time is always the same. <laughs> well, no, it wasn't there for a while. 
Oh, yeah, thank goodness that's over and done with. Yes. Um, but no, he's not. we haven't let him go home. He's working harder than the rest of us. Well, you say that. You don't know what I'm doing after the show. <laughs> what are you doing? I know what you're doing. I have a beer with my dad. Yes. <laughs> that's still working. <laughs> Just the Lots one. Lots of small talk. Yeah, that'll be nice. That can be hard work. No, but not sometimes... for me. You know me, as you said yesterday, I talk about myself all the time. Are they staying in your house? Yeah. Oh. We can do that now. I know, but... Which I didn't is, think like, you would like that. Well, be careful what you wish for, because before we could never have people stay over, and now we can. Yeah. I'm like, oh, God, people are coming to stay over heaps. My yeah. sister and her fiancé are coming to stay. Aww. Soon you love them. She's lovely. Well, they're both lovely. G'day to Steph and Luke, if you're listening. They sometimes listen on their way home. Yeah, I'll, I'll be off to that wedding, won't I? Probably. <laughs> I'm joking. You'll probably be MC it. I can't MC. You know yeah. I'm not the... You're the MC. <laughs> when I ever get asked to MC anything, I'm like, oh, no, I'm really busy. But I think Tim would like to do I'd it. I'd love to do it. I love, I love having a job. It's what you do. We love hearing from you. Now, do we have a tease for our quick draw guest tomorrow? Because I know they're going to be playing Joel. And I know Joel is at the Melbourne International Comedy Festival first show tonight. And I know the guest he's playing tomorrow also has a show that has just peaked and gone bunter at the Melbourne International Comedy Festival and throughout the rest of Australia in May as well. That's all I know. Oh. That's happening tomorrow. Will you be here? Um, yep. Okay, see you then. Yep. Back. Mona! <laughs> Kate, Tim and Joel is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.